guys, it's me, Malcolm, the movie Wizard of Oz himself. And I'm here at Regency Bridge Theater. Let's take this outside, shall we? Oh, let me put my things down. <sighs> what channel are you? Oh, no, look under Malcolm Cooper, you'll find it. Alright, cool. Check it out. Oh, in fact, here's my card. Awesome. Alright, so you can find it. Thank you. Ghostbusters fan? Uh huh. <laughs> Excellent. Beautiful, love it. Alright, we'll check it out. Okay. So, that happened. So, as you can see, I'm here to see. I'm here to discuss my review of the upcoming awesome best movie of 2021, of 2021 so far, Ghostbusters Afterlife. Yes, starring Carrie Coon, McKenna Grace, Finn Wolfhard, Paul Rudd, and some special appearance from Eddie Potts, Potts, Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd, Ernie Hudson, and the lovely, fabulous Sigourney Weaver. Yes, it's the old and new, it's the old and new cast. Who you gonna call? Ghostbusters! It's something weird. I just love it. Love it. This tells the story of of a mother and and two kids, kids who who moved to Somerville, Oklahoma, into this big old house that used to belong to their grandfather. And get this, turns out their grandfather happens to be Egon Spencer, played by Harold Ramis himself. Oh my God. I was, I can't believe it. I've seen McKenna Grace as a Ghostbuster and she was, and she did it to a T. I really do love it how she tra tried to trap Muncher. The, the new ghost we have here, he's blue and eats a lot. He kind of reminds me of Slimer. And get this, turns out, turns out Muncher is voiced by none other than Josh Gag. <laughs> what are the odds? I can't believe it's him. Oh, I almost forgot to show you this. This is my shirt. I got it from Amazon. I hope you like it. It's so good. I'm so glad I got it. I, I gotta be. It was like this movie was like history repeating itself all over again. Okay, because we get to see, we get to see Phoebe, boy, played by McKenna Grace, Grace discovering that Gozer is coming back, and and this and along with her two terror dogs. Oh my god, it was so shocking to see those terror dogs again. Okay. In fact, it was quite funny how the terror dogs found new host for the key master and the gatekeeper. But I won't tell you who who are the new hosts, so, mm -mm, no spoilers. <sighs> oh, I get this. Turns out Gozer is played by none other than Olivia Wilde. That's my girl. That's my girl. That's I, I knew I had a feeling it, that, that was her. I gotta say, she looked good wearing that, that pixie haircut that Gozer had back in the 80s. It was flawless. And I, now I really do love Paul Rudd. He was, aw, 
He was so cool in this movie. What are the odds we have him, Ant-Man, and Harry Coon, Proxima Midnight, doing this movie together? If there's something weird and it don't look good, who you gonna call? So great. I really do love McKenna Gray. She was, she, she is an outstanding young actress. Actress. I gotta say, she worked her, her role to a T. I hope we get to see more, more of her. her. I hope they do make some more sequels of, of this. I mean, we, I mean, I just love Ghostbusters. Well, uh, I get this, a little spoiler. They, you know how they always, nah, it's too hard to explain, but I, so really, nah, whatever. Okay, where was I? Oh yeah. So I find the movie quite awesome, quite badass. It was so kid friendly, just like it's, just like it's two predecessors. I gotta say, it's like the 2016 with Kristen Wiig, Wig and Jenny McCartney never happened. It's it never happened at all, which is for the best. I gotta say, I really do love it. It's it's so good. Okay, you guys, for my score for Ghostbusters Afterlife, I think I'll give this one a a ten. You know what? A nine. Definitely a nine. Because if they do make a sequel, I would love to see how it plays out. Okay? So guys, I guess that's it. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and be sure you all stay safe, stay healthy, and make sure you all see Ghostbusters Afterlife. And remember, who you gonna call? Who you gonna call?